everyone, it's your girl Taj. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul and it's a haul, guys. It's going to be huge, massive, a little out of control. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. Let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some products that are gonna be pretty new to me. Something I've never tried before, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good try and see how I like them. Some people swear by them and they love them. What are those things? Press on nails, guys. So I picked up three different colors and styles to try out. We have one from the brand Impress. These are press-ons. And then we've got the Glam Fantasies by Kiss, as well as the Gel Fantasy by Kiss. So got the blue color here, really pretty blue. Got a iridescent purple mixture, a little bit of bling going. And then this one, you've got um, their kind of cream and a little bit of glitter and some blingage mixed in. Very much so out of my comfort zone on these, but I figured what the heck, I'm working remote and probably until next year, with the way things are going with the virus. So I figured I might as well give these a shot while I'm not gonna go get my nails done anywhere. So why not? See, I will let you guys know how I like them if they turn out great. I bought two additional boxes, but those ended up being too small for my fingers. So I gave them to my girls. So, and of course they love them, so. So Sephora had a couple recent sales and um, I went ahead and picked up the Natasha Denona Safari palette. It was on sale. I don't remember what the sale price was, but it was like half of what it normally is. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what the full price of it is. But anyway, I picked this up. I've worn it once already. It is a gorgeous palette, guys. Love the gorgeous green on the packaging. And when you open it up, it is an all matte palette. It has a large mirror on it. Uh, up top and then you have your beautiful mattes on the bottom. I love the shade range here. I think the color story is really pretty. So pick that up. They also had the Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty palette. And I've had my eye on this one for quite some time. I'm actually wearing this palette today on my eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and just say this now, even though this is not a review video in any way. Um, packaging is stunning on this guys and the shades um, and the color story on the inside is really divine. Huda does a great job on um, the color stories that she always presents. However, I'm going to say that the mattes are a little chalky and don't blend. Well, they blend fine. They don't build well and uh, they're very, very, very crumbly. I mean, even after tapping and tapping and tapping off my brush, I had fallout everywhere. Uh, the I've only tried two, but the uh, shimmers in here seem to be a little bit iffy as well. So I don't know about this one. It's not one that I would highly recommend, especially for not a, for anyone that's a beginner and isn't um, very familiar with how to put on shadows like this. So I'm gonna try this with like a really sticky primer and see what happens, and maybe that will. Um, make it all better. I think I actually do have her primer in there. So I'm going to give it a shot with that and see if that's better uh, Next I have the new benefit hello happy air stick foundation in number seven It's a weightless medium coverage stick foundation it has SPF 20 in it Packaging is super cute looks like this. It is a stick foundation like I mentioned it has the cute little packaging uh, or face on the packaging here Pop it open and here is your stick of foundation. Um, I'm not gonna get into this one as I will be doing a full review and wear test for y'all on that, but this is something else. Next up, I picked up something that I thought was actually a really good deal. Um, this is the Beauty Blender, what is it called? Rosy Posy Kit or set. It has three beauty blenders. I told y'all that I was gonna be picking up a beauty blender and I, that one that I hauled in December, which was my last haul, just wanna say that, that was the last time I hauled anything, December of last year. So technically, I think we are doing really, really well. I just wanna put that out there. And I don't have as many beauty kits as I used to have, 
I no longer have my Allure Beauty Kit. I don't get the, uh, what is that, one palette that was coming every month, the palette subscription. Um, Death of Scarlet, I don't, I don't have that one anymore. Um, and I don't have any Ipsy bags anymore. I only have my BoxyCharm. Everything else, if you hear rumbling or anything, that's my pup. Oh, Papa Lou, what are you doing? <laughs> this Rosie Posey kit was actually a pretty good deal. It was on sale, normally it was 45 bucks, I would not have purchased it at that price. I thought that was a little bit over the top. Um, I think it was on sale for 32 or something like that, which is actually pretty good because these retail for $20 or $22 a piece, somewhere between there. Um, and you get three of them and this little thing up here, I don't know what it does. I think it's some type of a cleaner for your uh, beauty blenders is what it is. I don't know if it's a brush or some type of a soap. Either way, it's cute and it comes with this really cute little packaging that I like. It matches my eyes today. Um, so I think I'm gonna just kind of house it in here for a while until I'm ready to use these. I'm currently using some um, of my Real Technique Beauty Blenders, so I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a while before I even start dipping, in, dipping into these, but I wanted to get them because Beauty Blenders are expensive. That's uh, 20, 40, 60 dollars worth of Beauty Blenders for three right here. And these were in the 30s for all three. So pretty good deal. So I went ahead and picked up three of these Sephora palettes. Sephora has pro palettes if you're not familiar. And they're actually really uh, greatly priced. And uh, when they're on sale, or even when they're not on sale, I think they're like regular $79 or $69 or something like that. Some of them are 59, some of them are 39, depending on um, how many shades and stuff they have inside. And um, I wouldn't spend the money on them in for their uh, their original price. But these were on sale and I think they were 20 bucks each, uh, which is really good because you get, these are face palettes. So you're getting bronzers and blushes and highlighters. And I picked up three, like I said, but I got the uh, light palette, which is for lighter complexions. But I, was, I fell in love with a couple of the shades that I'll have to show you. And I actually think the packaging is really pretty here. Um, Looks like that on the inside. Nice sleek black packaging. You get your very nice large mirror, of course. And But on the inside though, you get these stunning shades. And like I said, this is the light palette for light complexions. I don't consider myself a light complexion. I'm definitely medium, but I knew that some of these uh, bronzers I could use. And uh, some of the blushes I would be able to pull off. So this shade here, Art Deco, uh, right up my alley love that shade such a gorgeous shade uh glambitious would be a really pretty just nude bronzer type shade or blush and the uh shade hollywood which is a stunning highlighter i mean it's just a really all-around pretty palette so i went ahead and picked that up medium palette is really pretty in its own right outside packaging on the medium palette and here are your shades very 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 pretty look how gorgeous that is so pretty so my favorite shades in here were off top groundbreaking love this uh, contour slash bronzy shade here and um, fabulosity yes sign me up for this type of a blush shade any day of the week and beso so yeah mm -hmm. flossy too which is this really pretty um shade right there i just thought yes that's so gorgeous but we shall see i have tried a couple of these already i'll keep you guys posted like i said these are not review videos this is not a review this is a haul haul <laughs> okay and the last sephora palette is going to be the contour blush palette uh also this was actually probably i haven't used this one yet i just looked at it but probably the, my favorite um just i don't know the colors are so saturated packaging is not as glam as the others but look at the shades they're so pretty right oh yes so pretty this deep shade right here, oh, that is gonna be so gorgeous. But I haven't tried any of these yet, so I'm really excited to 
use this particular palette we will see so a couple things that i picked up from patrick ta um one of them is missing from the box but here are the boxes in case you are not familiar with these particular blushes um i these are from the first release that he um did i picked up she's sincere and she's seductive i have on she's she's seductive today um you have to know how to use these because they look so much more saturated online than they actually appear in person and in real life. And here is your beautiful rose gold packaging. Very sleek, very pretty. You open it up, you get a decent sized mirror up top and here are your blushes. So this is, she's seductive. And this is, she's sincere. So she's sincere and she is seductive right here. I'm wearing She's Seductive today. Here we go. So very gorgeous. Um, like I said, you just need to know how to use these um, because they are not highly pigmented. And to be quite frank, I think you can be a little bit, maybe two shades warmer than I am and get away with these. Outside of that, you might be rather frustrated because I think these should be a little bit more pigmented, especially based on the way they're photographed and especially on, based on the way they are described. But we're gonna leave that information for another day. I did go ahead and pick up something I've had my eye on for a minute. I mean, like a long minute, probably a year and a half. This is the Marc Jacobs Sequence, is it called? So yeah, like S-E-E-Quince, Q-U-I-N-S um, shadow. This is in the shade Paparazzi, or no, it's not copper Roxy. it's so pretty i can't even like try to open it open this up because this is one of those loose um pigment type products it's um pressed though so it's pressed pigment rather it is so gorgeous this is probably my favorite lid shade ever it reminds me a lot of the mac um oh, what was that shade expensive pink by mac one of my all-time favorite eyelid shades but um it has more gold flecks and it is in copper flecks obviously because it's called copperazzi just so pretty guys i mean i love this so pretty one of the continuous themes you'll notice in this video is that i had a really good time purchasing foundations i don't know what it is my skin has changed quite a bit ever since i've been able to get my acne under control and it is very dry and i am experiencing a lot of dryness in a very particular number of places so like right here above my lip my chin area and just right here on the cheek which is weird i just not that it's a okay it's a haul video i'm sorry i'm not gonna get into my skin but the point is i decided to pick up some foundations the problem is when I started looking at the ones that I wanted to try, I did not remember or always remember that I wanted something that was going to hydrate. So I picked up a gamut of things. Nonetheless, we have a number of foundations you will see in this video. So let's go ahead and <laughs> start. So I picked up here the Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. Weirdly enough, the writing on this is coming off. It's Kind of strange but pick that up i also picked up the luminous silk perfect glow uh, foundation by armani the becca skin love foundation this is a weightless blur foundation so there goes that i picked up the natasha denona blush and bloom palette or is it the bloom and blush glow palette um, people love this one. I decided to give it a go. The packaging is stunning. I love it. Nice, beautiful mirror up top. And here are your products. So yes. Let's see. Okay, guys. So next up is the Lawless uh, Soft Matte Liquid Found, uh, not foundation. What am I talking about? It's a liquid lipstick. It is in the shade Ryan. Very pretty packaging, so we'll see how I feel about that and I'll let you guys know. Next up is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out. This is the cream blush line that she just released uh, like right at the beginning of summer or maybe it was spring. This is in the shame, shame. <laughs> I am not ashamed. 
This is in the shade Rose Latte, which is number 10. I actually have this on over She's Seductive today. So there goes that. It, well, I guess I should show you what the inside looks like, right? That's just the packaging. So you get the cute little blush. It's very small, which I don't mind because that just means that I'll actually hit pan on it faster. And there goes that. It's very beautiful, very, very pretty, very natural looking. You can, like I said, I have it on today. It's not, uh, it's kind of one of those shades that goes with everything. So, uh, and I actually do like cream blushes, especially with my skin being drier these days. So, picked up one tool from Sephora. And this is, aside from my beauty blenders, this is going to be the uh, Sephora uh, brand, Pro Demi Fan. So it's a fan brush. I like the way they package their stuff. So I don't remember what this costs, but very, very cute packaging and I'm excited. Picked up one of the new Fenty, let's see, Slip Shines. This is the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. This is in the shade Makeout Breakout. Um, this is a great kind of everyday type shade. This is what the inside of the packaging looks like. And when you flip it open, here is your bullet. Very sleek and cute. And that is the shade itself. So yeah, we will give this a go. I have worn this once. I wore it by itself, but um, it just looks like lip gloss when you wear it by itself. It's nice when you put on a uh, liner and then wear it. You get a little bit more out of it. Next up, I picked up a repurchase. Well, this is, yeah, it is a repurchase. I used to purchase the smaller ones um, and I just was using it so much that I would run out of it. I decided to purchase the full size. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. I think this made it into my favorites, my 2019 favorites. You guys have heard me talk about it in the past. I think it's a beautiful concealer. It just wears really, really well. I do not have it on today, um, but guys, it's great. The park, the packaging is very sleek and black, just standard packaging, um, NARS gray packaging. And um, there is the actual shade. Very, very pretty. Nice and complimentary to my shade. I are my skin tone. I got the shade medium dark 1.5. They have very interesting names and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. So pick up a product that has been on my wish list for a little bit. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. There it goes. So I've had this on my wish list for quite a bit. I keep saying I'm going to give it a shot and I never did. So let's just see. Mm. it smells really nice nice and like a fresh delicious summer watermelon Sephora put some of their skincare on sale some of the things that I've been wanting to try I have one to two of the um Ola Hendrickson products already so I saw these and I thought let me go ahead and pick these up because then I can try it as a line and a um you know, like the face wash and the toner and all of that stuff together. So I picked up the Ola Hendrickson, Ola Hendrickson Balance It All uh, set. And like I said, I, um, I'm i curious to see how my skin responds to this because I am the breakouts that I get now are usually around my cycle. I had one last month right here on the hairline and it went away like that. So not experiencing tons of breakouts these days thank the lord uh so i am gonna see how my skin fares because like i said i'm experiencing dryness here and here this is an oil control line which usually means you're producing lots of oil so if my skin doesn't respond well to this then i'm gonna probably just hand this off to my kiddo one of my kiddos this is the ula hendrickson balance babes you get the pore balancing uh facial scrub you get a pore mask, a oil control to control toner, just like the in the other one. And I already have this oil control toner, which I can tell you is amazing. And that is like the one thing I will keep, keep buying because it really just clarifies the skin. I love the way it feels. And then you get the oil control hydrator again. So that's the moisturizer. moisturizer. So that's two of those moisturizers. So I might just go ahead and pass on the ones that I have duplicates of already to uh, my kids. 
the Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Acid Plus Pore Control Complex. So I picked this one up because I still have texture right here, like pore type texture, um, where my pores have really minimized and closed down quite a bit ever since I've gotten my acne under control, but there's still room for improvement. So I went ahead and picked this up because I heard this is actually exceptional at that. So I'll pick that up. This is what the box looks like. So here we go. I also have quite a bit of this line in my stash that I, have, I use almost on a daily basis. I love it. There's a review coming on it, so hold on to your seats. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh? You like that drama? <laughs> Last skincare item from Sephora is going to be the Pharmacy Farmer's Market little set. I have been patiently waiting to try more of Pharmacy. I have their cleansing balm and I love it so much. It is so good but I wanted to go ahead and try some more of their items and this was on sale. So you get four, is it four things? Let's see. You get the um, Moringa Plus Papaya Cleanse and Detox. So it's three items. You get their Brighten Visibly and Brighten and Visibly Firm Skin Vitamin C. So that's nice, a vitamin C. And then you get a Honey and Glow. I think the Honey and Glow is their moisturizer. No, it's a hydrating mask. Oh, there is four products. So there's the vitamin C, the oil control gel moisturizer, the melt away balm, which I already own, and then the honey potion, which is their hydrating mask. So there goes that. Picked up, this is actually a really good price. It's a four brand, it's just some cotton swabs. I picked them up because I like to keep them at my beauty area and I figured if they were Sephora brand, I could feel not feel bad about keeping them in my beauty stash uh, and then just refilling my um, my vase with them. So I keep them in a little cute little candle holder actually. When you do all that damage at Sephora, they do give you an opportunity to try some cool things for free that come with your, uh, that would be free with purchase. You can also redeem your points and then they have the option to try like little samplers. And I'm always taking advantage of all three of those. And I think you only have to spend $25, $25 to take advantage of those things. They had the uh, Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I made two purchases while that um, opportunity was happening. So I picked up two of those. So I'm really excited to try this because That is different than the Hollywood uh, filter foundation. These are two very different uh, products. This is um, this is more of kind of like a, either you use under your foundation type thing, and this is an actual found foundation. So you could use these in conjunction with each other, or you can use them independently. So it was nice to not have to go and pick up an entire, you know, foundation for whatever her foundations cost. So I really thought that was a great idea and opportunity. Then the Ilia Light Liquid uh, Serum and Highlighter. I was very interested in this. That's what the packaging looks like. There is also the Biosense uh, Squalling Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. I love this brand. I just have not buckled down to purchase anything else. I just keep getting samples because they're really expensive. Like this is $58 or something. I don't want to spend $58 on the serum. So I just keep waiting and getting a little sample. So then I wanted to try the uh, Dior Backstage Primer and you had an opportunity to pick that up. I think this, I use my points for this. Uh, also using my points, I used, I picked up the Josie Moran 100% Argan Oil. This is one of my favorite oils, so I picked this up. I'm really excited to have it back, and it's actually a really good size. Not bad at all, and this, you know, you just need, what, a drop to go with your nightly moisturizer. You're gonna be putting on, or you, I hope, are wearing a serum, so yeah. They had the opportunity for me to pick up the Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder. I love these. I used to wear these back in the day, and I stopped purchasing them because I was playing with other things, but when I saw that you could get them, I thought, why not? Another foundation opportunity that Sephora offered was the It Cosmetic CC Cream Matte Oil-Free um, CC Cream. I have another CC Cream from them, but it is not the oil-free matte uh, particular or, um, option. 
It is oil free, but it's not matte. So excited. Another backstage primer. This is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Uh, Mizani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In Conditioner it says it has 25 benefits. I figured I was gonna straighten my hair uh, within another month or two. So I went ahead and grabbed this because I thought, why not? I picked up the Versace Bright Crystal Rollerball. It smells so good. I have already worn it. I love it. And Miss, let's see, Laura Mercier was offering her metallic taupe caviar stick eye color. Yes, this is a nice, beautiful shade. Something that would not um, be offensive if you offend you rather if you wanted to just put it all over your eyelids and blend that out in that beautiful. That's a nice all over the lid shade and you could just pop a nice little chocolate brown in your crease and go on about your business. Okay, and it's very creamy. I have the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. I don't like Smashbox's um, primers, but I figured I'd give this one a shot because it is different from all of the other ones that I've tried. I've never tried that one before, but I don't like their silicone primers. I don't like the way they feel in my face. My face doesn't respond to them. Now, in all uh, honesty, that was when my skin was oily, so my skin might respond differently now. I don't know. But um, just based on previous experience, I have not liked them in the past, so. Lastly, from Sephora, this is a lip product that I purchased from Bobbi Brown. It's the Crushed Liquid Lipstick. Um, well, it says Crushed Liquid Lip, which is the same thing. And it is in Peach and Quiet. It is hard to get this thing open. I mean, really? Such a pretty shade. I have nothing from Bobbi Brown. This is my very first Bobbi Brown purchase. Looks like that. I think it is a gorgeous shade. This is definitely right up my alley. This is something that I would wear. I love these types of peach shades, not only on my eyes, but on my lips. And it kind of has that um, lip gloss look to it. So it's not a very heavy lip um, formula, it doesn't seem like. Of course, I haven't worn it, so I don't know that for sure but that's just the way it uh, feels. Okay guys, so that is everything from Sephora. Let's go ahead and jump into the Ulta side of things and um, it doesn't get a whole lot better. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the Pretty Fresh foundation that I picked up from ColourPop. I've already done a review on this one for you guys, so if you have not checked it out, please make sure you do that. It is a hydrating foundation. Box looks like this. If you are interested in hearing more about it, check out the review. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into two products that I purchased out of necessity because with our quarantine lives, it I was struggling, okay, with the eyebrows. <laughs> I was like, I need to get my eyebrows done. But I also did not feel comfortable going and sitting in someone's chair and having them breathe over me even with a mask unnecessarily. So I had to figure out how to do my eyebrows. I've tried to do my eyebrows once before on my own. It did not turn out well and it was a long time ago. But I decided to educate myself and figure out how to do my own brows because I don't know how long we're gonna be in this quarantine life. So I went ahead and found a great YouTube video that I will leave in the description bar below and I went ahead and purchased these two products based on her review. And it was, I mean, I did my brows, guys. I, I, guys, I did my own. They look good. Now, I don't know if I feel comfortable getting on here and showing you how my, I've done my brows because I'm not an expert, but I think I did a great job. They look great to me and I am happy. So I'm really glad with these purchases. I purchased the Ardell Pro Brow. This is a trim and shape type razor thing. You've seen these before. You've already seen, you guys have seen these time and time again. This is old school stuff right here, right? Got the razor right there and it has the little cap on top. I also picked up the Tweezer Man. This is supposedly like the professional choice. It's just a way to brush your hair, your brows in place and then a um, very precise uh, 
pair of scissors so ultimately that's all that is but they both worked great for you girl told y'all this was foundation season for me and so i picked up the catrice one minute face perfector this can be either used as a primer or a foundation i have not used it yet but this is what the the uh, packaging looks like i wanted to try the beauty bakery uh instant bake foundation and this is the aqua aqua glass foundation is what it says packaging looks like this the flower beauty light illusion perfecting powder it is a foundation powder uh the flower beauty heat wave bronze essence bronzing essence it's like a liquid um bronzer so you can either put this you can mix it into your foundation you can uh like highlight your cheekbone area with it and then go over um your your put it on put your foundation on top rather uh, so yeah, there's a multitude of ways you can use this, but I picked it up because I wanted to give it a shot. It's summertime. We need to be glowing. The Catrice Clean ID Hydra BB Cream. Very curious. Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Um, so last year I hauled this and then I took it back because the color was so off. It was so red and they didn't have a large selection in the store, but online they have a much larger selection and this is the shade Latte macchiato beige so i'm actually really curious to see what this looks like on my skin because i think it's going to be a lot better of a skin match than the last one was so i'm really excited because it's not nearly as red and has a lot more yellow in it the essence my skin protector tinted primer it says it blurs um it, it has an instant blurring effect it's a natural matte formula and this is in medium beige so we will see also from Beauty Bakery, I've got a little um, setting powder, um, little mini here. So when you purchase her foundation, you got this as a gift. So I'm really excited to try that. Two blushes from Catrice. This is the uh, Blush Box Waterproof and Sweatproof Blush in the shade Glistening Pink and the shade Berry. And Elf Cosmetics Dew Primer, and this is from the Jelly Pop line. This thing was out of stock and sold out for probably half the year. And finally, it came back in stock. It is an $8 primer. I'm really excited to try it because it is supposed to be comparable to the um, Dewy, what is that primer called from Milk, Milk Cosmetics, the Hydra Grip Primer. So let's see, because that's one of my favorites and it did make it into my 2019 favorites. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and let you guys know how I feel about it. We will see, because if it is comparable, $8 versus whatever that is, probably 40 bucks, 35, definitely a deal. ColourPop, this is the uh, Brow Boss is what I believe it's called. Yep, the Brow Boss. And I got my shade, what did that get? Dark Brown. Haven't tried it yet, but this is what the packaging looks like. Two brushes from, uh, Sof not Sephora. Two brushes from Morphe. This is the M536, looks like that. I love Morphe brushes. It's a nice dense brush, kind of has a nice domed uh, shape up here. Good for sweeping powder from under the eye or concealing if you want to. There's a lot of things you can use with this uh, brush for. You can even apply highlighter with that if you want to if you want to get a concentrated amount of highlighter i don't like that look but if you wanted it you could this is the morphe m173 brush a nice also dome shaped brush nice and fluffy i've used this already and this was really nice to just kind of blend out like eyelid concealer or to blend out foundation or you know you could do some crease work with this this is really good from Makeup Revolution, this is the Revolution Glow uh, Bronzer. This is a matte bronzer. I love this. I actually have this on today. Packaging, here's the box. That's what that looks like. And here is the actual packaging. A little bit of rose gold type uh, action going on here. When you open it up, there is a mirror, but then you get this stunning, beautiful matte bronzer. Guys, love it this is a great shade for summertime and this will accommodate a lot of skin tones 
from Catrice. They have a new line that they released recently. I picked up a couple things aside from those blushes. They had the Sungasm Luminizing Bronzer. Nope, um, mirror up top, but here is your bronzer shade. I think it's really pretty. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I think it's pretty. There were two. I got the darker one and I'm glad that I did because I almost got the lighter one because the shades look like, they look a lot more concentrated online. And then when you get them in person, they're not as concentrated, so. Picked up two of the Skin Glazing. Uh, basically, these are just highlighters from Nabla Cosmetics. They say gl uh, glass skin finish in a powder form. And I picked up two of them. These are stunning. Now I will tell you the, um, let's see, this one, there's one that's like very pinky and then there's one that's more champagne-y. And I'm glad that I picked up the champagne shade because I almost went with a different one. It's called Privilege. And then the uh, pinky tone one is called Truth. If you are warm tone, if you're warmer than me, you are gonna get a lot of benefit out of Truth. Now don't get me wrong, this is you too. You can wear all of them. But um, the Truth shade is so, it's gonna be beautiful on dark skin tones. It is a little bit too pink for me, so I have to, I'm gonna have to use this as a blush topper and not necessarily as a highlight. It looks pink on my skin. So I would just put this over another blush if I wanted to kind of just really glow but these are gorgeous and I do not regret purchasing them at all. They're some of my favorite highlights already. Um, my favorite, of course, is Privilege. It is the one that I have on today. I guess that, you guys really can't see that. It's giving you a nasty glare. I'm gonna take it out of the box. There it goes. Look at that. I hope you all can see that. Two additional highlighters from Makeup Revolution. This is the Highlight Reloaded, pa um, not palette. These are just individuals. There's a Dare to Divulge, which is kind of more like a champagne. And the other is called Make an Impact, which is a uh, almost pinky gold, but not as warm and saturated of a pink as the Nabla. And from Revolution, we have their blush reload. They do, they're doing all these like reloaded. I don't really know what that means, but this is the blusher reloaded in Peach Bliss. So I could not resist this one. I was like, thinking to myself, it might be too light, but guys, this shade is so me, it's not even funny. I love these very, very neutral pink peaches. I love peach on my skin. It just looks so pretty. I could not pass this up. So here goes that. Oh, so pretty, look at that. Let me, let me see if I can get, and it might not even show up here. And yeah, here it does, it does show up, oh, it's so pretty. And it might look a little chalkier here on my finger, on my hand rather swatched than it actually does. Where is it? Here. Um, than it does in real life. Because on my cheek, it's beautiful. I have worn it already. Lastly from Nabla, we picked up a palette. I want to try at least one eyeshadow palette from them. So I was scrolling through Ulta's website and I decided on the Wildberry palette. It's called the Cutie palette, I guess. And Cutie Wildberry packaging looks like that they put everything in a plastic covering which i don't uh particularly hate because if you're traveling with it it'll keep your packaging kind of extra uh safe here so i don't i don't mind that at all but when you open when you take it out of the plastic covering this is what your packaging looks like it's a beautiful little berry uh cardboard type packaging and when you flip it open you do get a mirror but then you get these very saturated um, colors. I love this color story. I thought this was the only one that kind of really spoke to me. I didn't feel like I had anything. <gasps> no! Did you see that? My eyeshadow just fell out of here. I am pissed. Oh! Ulta? You're gonna give me back my effing monies or send me a new palette. No way. 
I'm gonna have to vacuum that up. I just made up my bed. I just washed my bed. Okay. From Oma Beauty, I had to go ahead and try the Badass Icon lipsticks. These are matte formulas. I got two. There they go. I love the packaging. It's very sleek, bad -y, right? It is, let's see, I got Whitney and I got Coretta. I have worn Coretta and I loved it. She is so bad bay, bad, bad a, right? It's very sleek, very sleek packaging. I love the white. You pop it open and you have this nice uh, kind of fuchsia, almost hot pink type chrome looking color, whatever. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this, but this is not a review video. It is just really, really pretty. That is what that looks like. Very very pretty you can use this could be a so this could be something you throw on your lips alone or you can line your lips with this but it is called Coretta and I'm thinking she's named her lipstick lipsticks after women um, in history so that would probably be Coretta Scott King and I'm thinking this might be Whitney Houston <laughs> so that is Whitney right there and above her is Coretta Coretta Whitney Coretta Whitney. That is the end of the haul video and I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a, a long one. That If you hung in there, you and G, and you like hauls, you are the kind of girl that rolls over at night, pops those earbuds in, and watches a haul video. So shout out to you <laughs> and thank y'all for hanging with me. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.